If you have started your SIP in Grow application, but at the time of starting new SIP, you did not set up your auto pay, then how can you do it later? I'm going to explain each and everything in today's video. Before that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, first of all, you need to open Grow application and complete the login process. Now, once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on a mobile screen. Now, sometimes if you did not set up your auto pay, it will show that option in SIP over here in mutual funds or else on the dashboard. But as you can see, I'm not getting any setup auto pay option over here. So if uh, you don't get any option over here, you can directly go to profile option. Now, once you select profile, you get multiple options over here, but you need to select bank details option. Select bank details and over here you will be able to check out the bank account which you have added in Grow application. Now over here you can see it is showing me an option of setup auto pay. So over here you can tap on setup auto pay. It will bring you to a mandate page. Now over here you can cross verify your bank details. You can check out the purpose. It is for mutual fund payment. Uh, the maximum limit of this particular SIP uh, is going to be 1 lakh rupees. Now, don't worry, it won't deduct 1 lakh rupee from your account. It is the maximum limit you can choose. Uh, you can check out the start and end date over here. And you can also check out your bank. You can also check out your account number. You can check out your name and IFSC code over here. So once you verify each and everything, the next step is verification method. Now, you can verify this by using your debit card, by net banking details or by Aadhaar. Now, whichever is good for you, you can go with it. In today's video, I'm going to show how can you uh, set up auto pay with debit card details. So I have already selected debit card. Now, don't forget to check this box. You can just give your consent and then select submit option. Now, once you're on the debit card authentication page, you can check the details once again. Now over here, you can check out your account number, mandate issued to India, uh, Indian Clearing Corporation. You can check that detail. Start date is today's date. If you go down, you can also check out the end date. You can check out the frequency, amount in figures, amount in words, all that details. Again, go down. Now over here, you need to enter your debit card details. So enter card number, expiry, and then CVV, and then select continue option. Now I have entered all the details over here. Let's select continue option. Now you will receive an OTP on your registered mobile number. You should enter your OTP over here and then select verify option. Now once you enter OTP, you will be redirected to this particular page and now you can see your auto pay request has been submitted successfully. You can check out your bank over here. Now this request will take time of uh, somewhere around two to seven working days to you know process it completely. So you have to wait. And again, it is showing your auto pay limit over here. So simply select done option and that's it. You are good to go. Your auto pay has been done. Now, currently the status is incomplete. As I told you, it will take two to seven working days. And after that, it will be done. So from the next month, uh, the amount for your SIP will be directly debited from your account. One more thing, make sure your account is well credited so for example if your uh, sip amount is going to be 500 rupees make sure 500 rupees is there in your bank account if uh, if the amount is not there then your bank will charge you so keep this thing in mind so that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe i'll see you all in the next one thank you